In this video, I'm talking all about the Roto Brush in After Effects. So let's get into it. So before we jump into After Effects, I just want to first answer the question that is, what is the Roto Brush? Well, the Roto Brush is a tool that allows you to do rotoscoping, and rotoscoping is another form of removing somebody from a video. Traditionally, the most popular way of doing this is to place somebody in front of a green screen or a blue screen, take out the blue color or the green color, and then place that person onto a new background. But the problem is if you didn't film your subject in front of a blue screen or a green screen, but you still want to take them out of the scene, well, this is where your Roto Brush and your rotoscoping is going to come into play. So let's jump into After Effects and I'll show you what I mean. So we're inside of Adobe After Effects and I've got this footage of this person overlooking this view. But the problem is we don't wanna use that view. We want to take that person out and we wanna place him in front of something completely different. So this is where we're gonna go up to the top bar. You can see we've got all of our icons here and we've got this person with a brush and this is the Roto Brush tool. So we'll select that and we'll double click on the person. Now, as you can see, that's loaded up a green brush. And when I paint this person with a green brush, you can see that an outline has appeared around the subject. Of course though, sometimes it might not completely cover the person. Like you can see in this example, the roto brush has ignored this person's arm. So we can just paint that in and that's fixed that problem. But we can also have the opposite problem of the roto brush painting something in which shouldn't be accepted. So as we can see, this tree down here has been included in this person's arm. So that is where we just hold option on our keyboard to load up a red brush. We'll paint over that and that bit will be removed. So essentially the computer is now going to analyze the scene and delete anything that is not inside of that mask. So this is where you really want to make sure that your mask is perfect. So go around the edges of your mask and make sure everything is supposed to be there. Now there's one difficult bit here and that is the hair, but this is where we can use the refine edge brush. So we'll go up to here, we'll hold on and drag this down to refine edge tool. So we're just gonna paint over the hair. So as you can see, the hairline is white and this means we're going to keep the hair, which is what we want. And the sky is black, so that will be removed. So that is perfect. So now that you've added this mask and this refine edge tool to the person's hair, you now want to go down to this bar just underneath the video. And you can see we've got this gray bar. You just want to scroll to the end of this gray bar and you want to extend that all the way over to the right. Basically, the Roto Brush will only analyze the part of the video that is in the gray. So if you extend this all the way over to the right, then it's going to extend the entire video. So once you're happy with the look of that, you can just go ahead and press the space bar. Now the computer is going to slowly work through this video frame by frame and remove the background. Now the Roto Brush and the updated Roto Brush is really good at analyzing your scene and chances are you won't need to make any amendments, but I would keep an eye on it just in case it goes wrong and excludes part of your subject or adds in some of the background. And if that is the case, then just press the space bar to pause that Roto Brush analysis, go in, paint out the area that you don't want or paint the area that you do want, press space and continue analyzing. Now I'm just going to pause that there. I'm only going to analyze it a few seconds just so I can show you these other options. So if we go down here, just below this gray bar, we've got these four different tabs. So we press the, the first one, toggle alpha. We can see everything that is white is being included and everything that is black is being rejected. So this is really good at going through and finding specific errors. If you see a bit of white flash up elsewhere in the video, then you know you need to jump in and get rid of that. We can also view this in the window that we were just in. Or we can move over to this menu here where you can kind of see the background, but the background is highlighted red. And that's because everything that is red is going to be removed. So if you see red flash across your subject, then that part is going to be removed. So you want to go in and reanalyze this. And then of course, we've got the last option and this is to change the color of this. Um, but again, this doesn't really make much of a difference. This is just in case you've got a red background or you've got something which is a bit difficult to see with that red overlay. So once you're happy with that, once you've analyzed your clip, we can jump back into composition. And as you can see, our subject is now sitting on a black background, which is really good. That's exactly what we needed to do. So from here, we can go layer new solid and we can add in a brand new background. And as you can see, our subject is sitting on top of this new background. That looks really awesome. And if we zoom into the hair, 
you can see that we've got all of the hairs perfectly intact. And that is thanks to the refined edge tool that we used around the hair. So from here, you can now just go ahead and you can throw your subject onto the background of your choice. You can put them wherever you need them to put them. Or if you just simply wanted to add text behind your subject, then you would just duplicate this layer go to the roto layer underneath and we'll delete the roto brush from that layer. So you can see we've now got the background again, but if we turn that bottom layer off, you can still see we've got our roto layer on top. Now from here, we can go into the T icon and we can do some text, create some text, we'll increase the scale of that and we'll just add that into here. And now you really want to make sure that this text is sitting in the middle of both of those layers. If it's at the top, then it's not going to do anything. It's just going to be like a normal text layer. But if you drag that underneath the top layer and above the bottom layer, you'll see that when we play the video back, the text is behind the subject. So by using this technique, you can add text, video, images, assets below your subject and above your background. You can add that between your foreground and your background. Of course, though, you can just delete the background and you can place your subject on an entirely new background. That is completely up to you. But that is how you use the roto brush and that is how you rotoscope in adobe after effects so thank you for watching i really appreciate your support and i will see you on the next video see you there